Human beings are gullible. Until and unless a person is entirely rational, it is very easy for some superstitions to make way into the head. With the little technical support that was available in the 19th century, people had blamed the disappearances of ships, aircrafts, and passengers from a certain area as the work of celestial beings or aliens or monsters. Scientists have been trying hard to not let people get swayed by the misinformation, but people believe what they think is right. You cannot change that, however hard you try. The Devil's Triangle, or the Bermuda Triangle, is a loosely defined part in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean. Reports of missing airplanes, ships, or people from this very area have raised questions for a long time. The expertise we have today, we did not have back then. Therefore, the myth had been going around for a long time. Creative writers had taken the liberty to give the situation such a turn that people would be drawn towards the controversy. As for now, the proximity of the Bermuda Triangle is one of the most heavily traveled shipping lanes, and cruise ships do not shy away from the said area as well. The US government never approved of any supernatural forces bringing about the ill fate and maintained a rational outlook towards the situation always. The Bermuda Triangle, along with the lost city of Atlantis, still remains folklore for some. This video shall bring you some incidents that have taken place in the vicinity of the Triangle. As far as legend has it, Ellen Austin had come across an abandoned ship at the Sargasso. In the span of two days, the abandoned ship was nowhere to be seen. In 1818, Ellen Austin, a ship, had been sailing from Liverpool towards New York. On approaching the foggy water, the area of the Atlantic Ocean that overlapped with the Bermuda Triangle, the crew had witnessed an abandoned ship, fully stocked. Most humans are inherently greedy, and there's nothing to hide about it. Hence, the captain of the crew thought it would be a good opportunity to grab some goods and keep his own ship stocked. He sent some crew members over to the abandoned ship and had planned to sail side by side. Suddenly, a storm roared over the choppy waters, which separated the two ships. Their reunion the next day failed to spot any crew members. The abandoned ship, filled with cargo, had been left abandoned once again. But the captain did not want to let it go without another fight. He let his crew members get onto the ship again, but the same phenomenon followed suit. When the fog had finally cleared up, the abandoned ship was nowhere to be seen. Let alone the previous incident, this incident in the year 1918 made people realize that technology might not always have the answers to the mysteries of this universe. The USS Cyclops was the US Navy's largest and fastest fuel ship that had been sailing from the Caribbean to Baltimore with over 309 crew members. The Cyclops had once delivered tons of manganese ore and had been useful in the First World War. The disappearance of this huge vessel drove people into a fit. Moreover, the ship was fully equipped with distress equipment and signals, but no one could hear any cries. The vessel vanished without any iota of debris. None of the crew's members were to be found as well. This incident led to people pondering over numerous theories such as a mutiny, poisoning, storm, or torpedoes. But if any of the above-mentioned events would have occurred, the debris should have been found. No remains could have been found. As weak as the human heart is, it looks up to celestial or mystical beings in order to justify the events that no one has the answers to. And hence, the theories of giant squids, monstrous creatures, and the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle engulfed their thoughts. A Navy ship called USS Proteus in the year 1941, carrying 58 passengers and cargo of ore, vanished suddenly when it was on its way from St. Thomas to the East Coast. Similarly, the USS Nereus disappeared along the same route, taking away 61 people who were all aboard. These incidents were all that was needed to spark a controversy about the Bermuda Triangle. The disappearance of Flight 19 into thin air had the above-mentioned triangle controversy, and the gravity so far had been lacking. Flight 19 had a three-hour exercise to overcome. It had to head east to conduct bombing runs, and then fly over the Grand Bahama Island, following which they were to head towards the southwest to return home. According to the flight's lieutenant, the compass had stopped working, which made him paranoid. 
He then instructed his fleet to head towards the northeast, for he believed that the flight had been moving towards the wrong direction. Instead of heading towards Florida, which the lieutenant believed they were moving towards, they were into the depths of the Atlantic. Upon moving closer to the Bermuda Triangle, the connections were lost and signals had started fading by then. One of the pilots commented that the ocean and everything else had been looking strange. This comment was the last statement that had been recorded by Flight 19. He also commented that he felt like he was entering white water and that they were completely lost. This particular incident surely brings a chill down your spine, doesn't it? Keep listening to know more. A DC-3 commercial flight carrying 29 passengers and two crew members heading towards Miami vanished in the year 1948 and were never found again. Before reaching the city, the captain had contacted the airport for landing instructions, only to have been met with silence. That very same year, a British Avro Tudor plane with 25 passengers and six crew members were lost mid-air and the officials have never found them again. The very next year, Star Ariel lost all communication signals in spite of having clear weather and being on track. We never heard anything from them again. Star Ariel had begun its journey from Bermuda to Kingston in Jamaica. In the year 1963, a large tanker ship named SS Marine Sulphur Queen had been carrying 39 passengers and molten sulphur when it had disappeared. It was last seen near the southern coast of Florida. After two weeks of an intense search, only a few pieces of debris were found. With 37 people on board, the 590-foot cargo ship, Sylvia L. Asa, disappeared when it entered the Bermuda Triangle. Life preservers, lifeboats, and debris were all discovered without any hint of shipwreckage. Inexperienced pilots should not be given the opportunity to fly a plane. This pilot got lost in thin air when his signal lights could not be tracked by the radar, even though the weather had been entirely pleasant. The pilot was en route to St. Thomas to pick some passengers up from the Virgin Islands. A search team's extensive search resulted in nothing. Lastly, in the year 1984, a Cessna plane that had departed from Fort Lauderdale in order to reach the Bahamas faced the same fate when it completely disappeared from the radar signals before taking its final plunge into the ocean. A woman had witnessed the plane going into the ocean water, but the search team had no luck in finding the wreckage. These incidents remind us of the forces of nature that go well beyond our imagination, and it shall always hold us accountable. Scientists have always come forward to bust myths that humans have created for themselves. Superstitious people fail to believe scientists as well. Their disbelief does not put the scientists at fault, but the lack of their rational thinking makes them gullible to myths and supernatural entities. Similarly, the myth of the Bermuda Triangle has been busted as well. In the year 1925, SS Cotopaxi had gone missing while it was traveling to Havana from Charleston. The ship had never made it to its destination, i.e. Havana. The Bermuda Triangle stretches from Bermuda to Florida to Puerto Rico. And guess what? The wreckage wasn't found in the proximity of the triangle, which makes the myth, all the more, a classic case of human's belief in the supernatural. The Cotopaxi was wiped out by a storm, and the crew members who were on board were never heard from or seen again. Now, their families had sued the company, after which the families found out the carpenter of the ship who testified that the ship hadn't been fully secured and had broken hatch covers that were used to cover the coal that the ship had been carrying. If water had reached down to the cargo hold, the ship had the possibility of sinking due to the broken covers that would let the water in. The broken covers were to be repaired before the ship set out for sale, but it was let off without any repairs. A sorry state of affairs indeed. Research revealed that distress calls were sent out through wireless signals that were received at Jacksonville in Florida. The shipwreck is not far from Jacksonville. Barnett, who led the investigation, debunked all the rumors related to the shipwreck and has done so with proof that is hard to overlook. Thus ends a lifelong saga of the mysterious Bermuda Triangle that kept many of us hooked during our childhood. We would be lying if we don't admit to the fact that we've had the innate desire of figuring out what has been going on in the Bermuda Triangle when we first got to learn about it. As the saying goes, all's well that ends well. We shall take our leave now. Keep watching to find out what myth shall get debunked next. Adios!